what up what up here we are this is my oil cooler for my 7.3 i had a leak coming from the front which is this right here and uh i was trying to figure out what was going on i couldn't find a leak i was looking everywhere for my oil leak and uh it would leak very badly in the morning on cold days and uh Basically, the O-rings were wore out, as you could see. See how flat that is, which I know the O-ring's going to compress when it goes into housing. Yes, I'm totally aware of that. Um, but but there's no there's no flexibility in them at all. I mean, they're rock solid. You know, these are the new ones. These are they're they're just so hard. And what was happening when? The actual tube was getting some heat. Uh, these would expand and get a little softer. But as you could hear that, they're rock solid and, you know, it's a 96. But, uh, yeah, that's where my leak was coming from. And, uh, yeah, $10 in seals and all day worth of work just because this front housing right here is very difficult to get it to the bottom bolts not that bad but the top one is because of how it sits right by the water pump it was a pain in the ass uh the back one was fairly easy to get off and uh so yeah i'm gonna put these new o-rings on and uh slap this sucker back together so i can get back to work all right so i'm gonna show you how brittle and why it was leaking see that so if you do have a leak and you can't, it's very hard to, difficult to locate the leak. And I had a problem because the way it was leaking, it was uh, dripping off the front and dripping on my fuel lines. And I mean, I stuck my hand in there. I cleaned everything off. It took me days before I could find it. But if you do have a leak and it's very hard to detect and it's anywhere around this uh, oil cooler, it's definitely this. Watch this. There you go. Yep. There it is. There's my O-ring. There's my problem. There it is. So, yeah. Fun, fun, fun.